hi youtubers welcome back to my next video on jntuh labs so in this video i am going to tell you about the sound sensor robot code so basically you can able to see the code whole code here so basically i am explaining you just i have taken sound as pin number six motor one i have connected to eight motor one of second as usual if you see in my first video i have told you that we will be connecting for one motor there will be two wires for the uh, IC which I have shown you in my previous video that is nothing but motor driver IC so for that we have to require two pins so one motor so these are the two motors for two pins and this is a two pins for two things okay and I am taking a count value to count it so how many counts I am getting so okay so next these, these are the loops I will be explaining forward and backward loops and a stop loop I have written so whenever we get a sound the robot should move forward or backward or it should stop so depending upon the code it will be functioning so let us see this void setup and void loop basically if you open any window in order you know you will be getting that void setup and void loop so so initializing my sixth pin as my input what what does my sixth pin tells it's a sound so which I am getting from my sound sensor so that will be my input so pin mode, pin mode input and eighth pin for my motors four pins for my motors i require so these are the four pins which i have taken from my motors you can able to see you have to connect similar manner if you have seen my previous video i have taken some other pins like 13 12 11 10 so you can write here 13 here 13 and 12 so that the motor will be connected the remember friends the I, uh, pin might be connection will be wrong so if you see code depending upon the code you connect it okay so here I have taken 8 9 and 10 and 11 pins so remember friends you have to correct the motor 8 and 9 to 1 and 10 and 11 to other pins uh, other motor of 10 and 9 okay 10 and 11 so you have to correct it so next time I will be seeing that the diagram and the code will be remain same so that it will be you helpful for you so next time I will be looking to it so next we will be seeing a void loop so sound sensor always produce a digital value so it gives if there is no sound then it gives logic 1 to me or else it gives logic 0 to me so here what I am doing I am checking whether my digital read of sound means pin number 8 which I have connected right with number six sorry six which I have connected here is giving me a logic zero or not if it is giving logic zero then I am making the count to one okay I am initializing the count that's a count equals to one if delay I am giving some delay after delay one second of delay okay this is one second of delay after that you can able to see that if count is equals to three then I am making it as zero again because I have to reset it to zero again it should it will be count seeing so i have only three conditions if you have more than more than three conditions then you can change here to four five or six if you are like move forward backward left right these things also you have and then stop then you can write your five so here basically i am doing two things moving forward or moving backward i am doing so basically i have written only three and then i am making it as zero then i have taken a switch condition where if it is equals to zero so basically now if it is zero if we don't do if we don't give power supply and just keep it on then it will be giving me count equal to zero because i have initialized at first a count equals to zero i can able to see here i have initialized it here you can able to see count equal to zero so basically it will be in stop condition okay so basically it will be in stop what does this stop tells so here it is the stop code okay this is the stop code what does this stop tells let us see digital right 8th 9th 10th and 11th i am giving low i am not giving any uh, voltages to that pins so that it will be the motor driver will not work so if the motor driver doesn't work the motor will also not work so that is my stop condition if it is the count is equals to zero if it is equals to one if somebody claps so you will be seeing in my next video somebody claps then 
it moves forward what is the forward condition i have written here let us say digital right eighth pin will be high and tenth pin will be high means i am making my motor first connection to high and my tenth connection to high so that it moves forward you can see in my hitch bridge if you can able to see it uh, they, those are connected in such a manner H bridge is connected in such a manner first motor and second motor if we use second motor pin as high as you can able to see then it moves forward and quite opposite condition if you write it moves backward condition see it is low low and high and high quite opposite condition if you write it moves backward condition so similar things you can do with your left and right also to move left which motor should be run you see and write in such a manner the code okay so at that time you require two not you require four motors so means two bridges you require so motor driver ICs you require so if possible I will be making that video also no problem but for the case being we will be seeing these two if it is one then we, we are making it to move forward if it is k2 then we are making it backward and for every switch case you know the syntax it is break we will be breaking it okay so that's enough so next if you able to see the left and right also there to move and left and right but i am not telling in this video because we are not using this so that's all for this video this is about the total code explanation of the uh, Arduino board by using the sound sensor a robot by using a sound sensor so thank you for watching this video stay tuned to my channel if you like this video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos stay tuned to my channel if you want this code then please comment below uh, your mail id so that i can mail you this code thank you for watching this video